everyone, it's Fantasia. So a couple of the Sim Gurus have been making some tweets and I wanted to go over them with you guys today. So Sim Guru Nova tweeted here, Sims related update. I've been working on a ton of cool stuff recently. I'm pretty sure it will have a lot of you feeling inspired and excited. I know that doesn't really tell you anything, but that's all you're going to get for now. So when I saw this tweet, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to make a video on this because this is exciting. I don't know about you guys, but horse brand definitely disappointed a lot of us. The horses themselves are great, but that's kind of all that's there. I just feel like it doesn't feel like a new expansion pack just dropped. The community is very quiet for an expansion pack just dropping. I don't know. The difference between growing together versus horse ranch is huge to me when it comes to the hype and all the content I'm seeing in the community is just so, so different. And yeah, it just feels like horse ranch is like old news, like a pack that people are, are enjoying but it's it doesn't feel like it's a new pack you know it feels like it's one of those packs that have been in the game for a little while for some reason that's just what it's been feeling like so seeing this tweet from sim guru nova saying that she's been working on some cool stuff recently and it's gonna leave us feeling inspired and excited i'm just like ooh, what could that mean leave us feeling inspired that part gets me because i need all the inspiration i can get when something makes me inspired in the sims 4 i am all in i get so drawn into the game and i'm just like i can't stop playing. So I'm really curious, what could this be? Let me know down below what you think. I feel like this could be so many different things. Also, aren't we still due for two more kits? Because we did find out the two kits that we voted for, those are coming in 2024. So doesn't that mean there's still two new kits coming this year that we haven't heard anything about? That was on the roadmap, so kind of waiting to see what's going to be going on there. But let's go ahead and move on over to the other tweets that I want to go over here today. So Sim Guru Ash made a tweet here. Sims, hey Ash, any ideas for this sim thing? Me, 24 years, a simmer. Hold on, let me open my bottomless inspo bag. Okay, why is this literally me? I could make so many videos on different things that I would love to see in The Sims 4. So I don't know, I just thought this tweet was funny. There's so many replies and this is what we need to go over. So this is where I'm just like, oh my goodness, are we like gonna be getting a bunch of things that we don't even think will ever come? Is there's so many things in the works that we have no idea about. This definitely got me thinking. If you guys don't know, Sim Guru Ash is a producer for The Sims 4, so she is a legit Sim Guru. So keep that in mind. So one of the replies here comes from Cat Lover Player. Yes, we need more pool items. And Sim Guru Ash responds, definitely have an inspo board for this. Love Palm Springs and Italian Riviera vibes. And then Cat Lover Player responds saying, I'm hoping to see pool slides, interactive pool waterfalls, and pool steps. I would love, love, love these things. Guys, I've talked about before the amount of pool activities they could bring to The Sims 4 that just aren't there yet. Even just like pool games, like pool volleyball, Marco Polo, also like a swim up bar. There's so many different things you can do with pools that I feel like aren't there, which also leads me to further believe that we're going to get a hotels and resorts pack. And with that, it's going to give us like all the pool stuff that we're missing. Because at this point, it's just like, what are they waiting for? We never get new pool stuff. The only thing we've gotten is like floaties, which is also for like the ocean. I don't know we haven't gotten any pool specific things in forever and i'm just like where are the pool slides that's such a basic thing that's not there yet and like i don't know so many missed opportunities that they didn't go ahead and add it in like seasons and it just makes me think we're gonna be getting it in a resource pack it would only make sense so i don't know just the fact that sim guru ash responded to this makes me feel like you know things are coming for that then we have this tweet here cough spiral stairs cough also did someone say apartments that we can build and assign as such ourselves. And then Sim Guru Ash actually responded to this. The Sims 2 had the best apartments. I'm sure we could beat that though. It's just kind of weird that this is responded to. Like I know Sim Guru Ash is just responding to a whole bunch of people, but at the end of the day, I feel like, I don't know, why would this be responded to if it wasn't something that could be in the works? I really want to see better apartments, to be honest. I want to be able to build my own apartment. I want townhomes. There's so many different things I'd love 
love to see with like apartment type of living. But yes, The Sims 2 definitely had the best apartments. I agree with that. Oh, I would love to see apartments like that in The Sims 4. I just, I miss the way they were in The Sims 2 so, so much. Standard Held says, I still wish we had rocking horses for the kids slash toddlers to play with, walking sticks for elders, emerald green and albino red eye swatches, non-object rodents. As we talk about animals, birds for my bird ladies, clearer calendar overlay. And Sim Garage says, I would love if we could at least choose for our Sims not to be scared of rodents. Whenever my Sim freaks about the mouse hole, I'm like, no, it's your friend. Love it. This response, I don't really know if it means anything, you know, it's kind of just like a normal response. But you guys, the ideas in this tweet, oh my goodness, I really wish they gave us rocking horses for the kids and toddlers with Horse Ranch. I feel like that was definitely a huge missed opportunity. And walking six for elders. Yeah, I thought that was going to come with growing together and it didn't. There's so many things that don't come with packs that you would think would come with the packs. And then you're left kind of confused because you're like, where would they put this then? Is it just never going to come to the game? For me, it makes me think, okay, they probably have another pack up their sleeve. I can't help but think that since all the packs get divided, I'm just like, okay, if they didn't include this feature with this pack where it makes complete sense to put it in that pack, then there must be another pack that's going to come and it, we're going to get it there. That's just what I'm always thinking. Like, I would not be surprised. So this tweet here says, better eye swatches is something I've been begging for for years. Simgur Ash responds, would love new eye swatches and hair swatches. I'd love just a row of ombre slash multi-dyed swatches. You guys, I really hope this is something that's coming. Like, this is such a tease. I know she's literally just responding to people, things they want, but I really hope the fact that a Simgur wants these things, you know, could actually mean they will come to the game. I definitely think we need more hair swatches. I know we got more, but we still don't have like a true redhead swatch, like a very natural redhead, like a mix between redhead and strawberry blonde. You know that color? I feel like that is like super common and it's just not a thing in The Sims 4. So we definitely need that. But yes, even eye swatches, there's not enough of them. There's not enough variety. Like I have green eyes and I still feel like, yes, we have green swatches, but I just still feel like there's not an exact swatch that matches my eye color. Maybe close but like, oh, it just annoys me. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, we need like more of a variety. Either that or we need like a slider. Okay, so this caught my attention. Marita says, eyelashes please. And we need the long matte nail polish back. Simguru Ash says, we need lots more nails, especially toenails. What kind of eyelashes would you prefer? I personally hope to have some like the below that are max smudge, maybe more feathery, but not alpha. Still very Sims. Several CCers have made gorgeous MM lashes. So, so even the fact that she has this picture here of what she would like to see for lashes, oh my goodness, I feel like this is disgust for sure. This has to be disgust. I don't know why we have block eyelashes. Like, I... I know The Sims 4 went backwards in some ways compared to The Sims 3. Like in The Sims 3, we had legit eyelashes without CC, like actual eyelashes. And then all of a sudden we got block eyelashes and I know The Sims 4 is more cartoony, but it's not so cartoony to the point where they should have block eyelashes in my opinion. I feel like they still need actual eyelashes, you know? They could maybe be like a little more clumpy. Like, you know, these ones down here, I feel like that works perfectly with Max's Match style. I would love to see ones with like more lashes as well, but I'm just saying this is like a perfect kind of like meat in the middle type of thing. I would be completely satisfied with that. That would be A-OK -okay with me. I feel like this matches the way the game looks. I mean, they all would look great, but I'm just saying. Considering the fact that we got block lashes, I feel like if they give us lashes, they'd more be like, I guess both of these, yeah. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll get eyelashes and they'll be full blown, very feathery, pretty lashes. But yes, especially toenails, we definitely need more nails for sure. And I hope this is like a good sign that maybe that's being discussed as well. Because I don't know, I feel like it. we just need more. I mean, I'm so glad we don't need to get CC now for um, nails. If you do want those in your game, you don't need to get the CC for them if you're trying to cut back on your CC. So Vampire Queen says, toasters, blenders, hot chocolate maker, machine and maybe new coffee recipes like pumpkin spice latte, caramel latte macchiato, gingerbread latte, chai latte, etc. Simgur Ash says, oh my god, I love making hot chocolate. How cute would that be next to the s'mores deco? 
Oh my god, you guys. The tease. I know it means nothing. Responses like this, I'm not gonna look into. Because this is like a discussion thread at the end of the day. But like, oh my goodness. You guys, I have wanted toasters, blenders, and all that stuff for so long. Like every time I see a mod for these things, I get so excited. They're so like aesthetic. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. Because these are just like normal kitchen appliances in everyday life. But in The Sims, they just look so aesthetic and so great for your Sims to like have a morning routine and like make a smoothie or make a nice hot cocoa ah oh my goodness i really hope that things like that come eventually going through this thread you guys there is a lot of replies that never got responded to and honestly it makes me think some of these responses could mean something just like specific things she chose to respond to i'm not saying everything she's writing means anything at all of course like she's just discussing with other simmers which is nice to see but yeah it does seem like certain things are being responded to so what do you guys think comment down below of course i will have this thread linked down below if you guys want to read some more stuff because there is some things i'm not talking about today there was some talk about like new worlds and stuff like that which yes we definitely need more worlds from different places of the world so i really hope that could be a thing there was some talk about void critters there was talk about a clutter stuff pack but anyways you guys that is everything i'm gonna go over today honestly i am excited to see what's to come especially the fact that sim guru nova straight up said that she's working on some cool stuff and it's gonna leave us inspired and excited so i do really want to know what that means so go ahead and comment down below your thoughts but with that said you guys i am gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope you all enjoyed i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i will see you all in my next video bye guys